been trying to do this video for quite some time now, but there's just always so much going on. There's so much content that I need to get out, that I want to get out. But in this video, we're going to raw dog the Iron Twins. And I'm going to show you guys um, the bills and everything. But before we begin, I, I want to tell you that if you are looking at this right now and you see, oh, there's two nuts, Marishka, uh, Avoid Lego, and Cardiel, and Taurus. This is unrelatable. Yeah, it, it's completely unrelatable. If you want to leave, you can leave. This is supposed to be just for entertainment value. I'm going to show you guys the builds just to show you guys the builds, but if you don't feel like this is your thing, then feel free to leave. Um, but if you're going to complain about it, then just know I'm probably going to give you a thumbs up. I'm going to tell you, have the day you deserve, and don't forget to dislike on your way out because it helps the engagement. So there's that. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out. Marishka and Taurus together. I don't think I've ever played. Well, actually, I have played on stream. Um, somebody let me on their account and they were like, hey, um, go ahead and enjoy it and see how you how you like it and um, content. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's content. I mean, look at this, guys. Look at how every time Marishka is getting hit, Taurus retaliates with his A2 that hits really freaking hard. Then you have both nuts just completely banging the iron twins he's just getting completely raw dogged all this a violation oh my gosh now is this the fastest that i've seen no it's not the fastest team that i've seen is it the fastest team that i've done no it's not the fastest team i've done the unkillable team that bronco did um i think the fastest that i've done on that was like 56 seconds but that was a speed tuned unkillable comp. This one is just completely absolute freaking like brutalizing the Iron Twins. Just complete raw power. And I think that's pretty entertaining, at least for me. It's it's entertaining for me. And I know that I'm not special, so I can't be the only one that's entertained by seeing something like this. So obviously this is a Kraken account. A lot of money was spent on this account for two nuts and a Taurus and a Marishka. And, you know, Cardio is nothing to, snuff, uh, to, to sneeze at either. But, I mean, that's just crazy. One minute, 30 seconds, complete raw dog. Tell me that's not crazy. But, um, yeah. Let, let me just call. Let me get this uh, screenshot real quick for the thumbnail. I'll show you guys the presets. If... It even really matters because honestly, with the way that it uh, these characters work, I'm pretty sure you could just leave them on auto. But I'll show you show you guys the show you guys the presets here. Iron Twins 15, uh, nuts going at 260, closing out the A2. Now nuts animations are kind of slow, so turning off the A2 kind of makes sense because you don't want him counterattacking since a lot of his damage isn't going to be coming from counterattacking and it's not like he can decrease turn meter on iron twins anyway the weaken would help but because the iron twins has a built-in mechanic where he wipes or cleanses his own debuffs after certain thresholds it doesn't really make sense to do that's why sometimes you see the geomancer teams like you have to speed tune it absolutely perfectly or you know, hope for the rng so that the burn stays on other than that you're wiping off the burn and you're kind of waiting until that next rotation for a Geomancer to place another. Eight. But yeah, so nuts, both nuts are going to be like this, by the way. Taurus, you don't have to do anything with Taurus. He just counterattacks. He's going at 199 speed. Um, I want to try to rebuild a lot of these champions, but I'm not going to mess with his, his builds. Um, this is Marishka opening with the A1. Her strengthen and her shield actually help to sustain the entire team. So if you were seeing, you guys know the Iron Twins, especially at 15, hits very hard. But thanks to Marishka, one, removing the debuffs, increasing the res, and um, filling the turn meter. Two, and this is my initial point, she gives the heal, then she gives the shield, and you know, shields are pretty OP in and of themselves, but strengthen. Strengthen is a really nice debuff, and I actually asked this question to my community Oh, um, like one or two weeks ago when I was like, hey, 
Do you guys think that it's better to have strengthen or is it better to have increased defense, a 60% increase in defense? And a lot of you guys actually made a good point. That strengthen is just a flat um, damage mitigation across the board, whereas increased defense is um, relative to the total defense of whichever character that you are putting the increase defense on. So like the increased defense is going to have a lot more effect on somebody like Nut versus or Newt versus Cardio because Newt is a defense based champion and Cardio just isn't. So strengthen is just a flat out stronger all around generally better uh buff. Now strengthen doesn't increase damage, that's one thing to consider, but overall if you're talking survivability, strengthen is the way to go. And, you know, Taurus is just already tanky as shit. His um, passives, all incoming damage reduced by... Like, yeah, he's fallen off. I'd, I'd say the this Cancer couple has fallen off a little bit with the introduction of Narcis and Armands. But for like two plus years, they were the shit all the way. I mean, oh my god. You could not step into Plat without getting freaking gangbanged by Marishka and Taurus. It was wild. Now today, I'm pretty sure that if I were to try and, you know, go into Arena, I could probably smash through quite a few teams using um, Taurus and Mariska, but uh, it's not the same as it, as it once was before. Mariska, obviously, with a five-star blessing. And then Cardiel, I'm pretty sure we could probably open his A3 uh, and get that ball and prioritize that as one. But I don't think, obviously, it didn't make any much of it. It's 257 speed on Mariska. 30 speed but honestly the stats in it of themselves aren't really that important it's not a speed tuned team the point of showing this was one for entertainment and two just to show you guys it is what it is in fact i think i could even change out nut here and put in mariska in the lead because it's not like we're bothering with debuffs so let's actually put mariska in the but that's next to each other it's that so this is that how we added turn off his there's that and let's go ahead and dive into I mean you guys already saw the stats I'm just gonna go over gear and Marisha is gonna be in stone skin there are her total stats two seven pretty tanky high HP high defense High resistance. That's pretty nice. I actually have never really used Mariska. I'd, I'd really like to dive into the account and do like a champion guide. I'm going to ask him if I could. Uh... It's my wife's mug, but Mariska. I mean, uh, my wife, not Mariska. And then um, Cardio, obviously, in full on speed. Not full on speed, but you know, double. Speed it, speed it up. Where's Taurus at? Taurus in Savage and Half Slayer. That's pretty nice. I, I think he's got like really good gear. Yeah, for the most part. A lot of this stuff is already leveled up. And one nut. It's like this one is damage probably. Yeah, not a lot of accuracy there. Where's the second one? Second looks like looks like this one's gonna have more accuracy. So a little bit faster, a little more support utility, but still pretty strong at 4.5k defense and 155 crit damage. But yeah, a complete raw dog team. That was insane. 